Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the int function on Power Automate. So what is the int function? The int function allows you to convert a string into an integer, effectively going from a string to a number. So let's actually take a look at this then. We have an age variable of 25, but it's come through as a string. We want to perform some math on this, but how do we actually do this then? Well, we firstly need to convert it to a number. And in this instance, we're going to be using an integer. So what we do is we take that variable and we pass it into the int function. And then what we do is we get a return of a integer of 25. Now we can use this in the math functionality of Power Automate to increase the age, decrease the age, etc. But that's how you convert a string into an integer. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on the Power Automate website and I have a manual trigger flow here within our flow and we are setting a um, age variable, which is a string type to 25. This is to mimic if we was re receiving information through from a third party or say CDS, also known as Dataverse, um, that's come through as a string. Now, what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be converting this age, this string, to an integer, which we do with the int functionality and we're passing in the string variable. And then once we've done that, just to show you that it's actually worked, we can then use math on this. We are using another function called add. We're passing in the output of the conversion of the int, which is this one. So we should have a 25 int come through. And then we're increasing the person's age by one year. So let's actually see this in action then. Just run the flow. Okay, so the flow ran successfully. We assigned our 25 value to a string type variable of age. We then converted that so it looks like the input and output are the same, but actually this is going from a string to an integer. And now we can actually increase the um, value of our integer by one using math. And that is how you use the int conversion function to convert a string from an integer on Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.